Yeshua's moment with Pastor Charles Chiaga. Yes, praise the Lord, brethren. I am your servant, Pastor Charles Chiaga, and I'm standing here on, uh, on, on, the, on the mountain of God seekers called Zion Pashua's Prayer Mountain. I encourage you that this site should be your second home. It's a place that you should always look forward to come to so that you come to connect with your source. This mountain was dedicated by the people who have walked through this network for 23 years as I speak now. And God has done amazing things in many lives since people started this journey of seeking after God. And out of that, this was born. 50 acres of land at the peripheries of the city of Kampala, which have been dedicated to nothing else but this one cause of seeking after God. Every one of us, you can have your time to just come and chill out here. Come and have a time alone with God. It's a vast place with a lot of different vegetations and uh, different sceneries. You can go to, 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 to many corners to rest and be there quiet. It's, uh, it's total quietness and you'll be able to listen to God speaking to you. You need to connect with your source, with the source of your existence. Today is a Friday. And every Friday we spend a night, a night here in a prayer vigil. I encourage you to come and join us this Friday as we, as, as we wrestle, as we pray, as we continue to press, to press on because we want to draw close to God. We want to be God-led, God-guided, that God will lead us and guide our lives. Okay? So I encourage you, come uh, today evening and let us spend a night here up to morning in prayer. We need to draw close to God uh, and get back to our source and we'll be, we'll be, we'll be led and guided by him. Uh, yesterday we saw uh, how, how, how the Bible was talking about uh, uh, what is born of God. When it is challenged by existing relationships, it is better you discard, you forego the existing relationships so that you can be able to nurture this which has been born of, of you in the presence of God. Whenever we come to seek God, we will bath things. The things we will bath, God will bath out of us in his presence are intertwined in our destiny. They are the things that define us, that make us unique. They are the things that define the reason where we came to be. So when they are challenged by existing relationships, the best thing is to discard those relationships and be able to pursue this one thing which has been born of you in the presence of God. Because it defines you, it will make you unique, it will brand, brand you and bring you and present you to your generation as a new breed, as a new unique a masterpiece of your kind when you, you pursue hard after that which has been born of you in the presence of God. Verses 25, Genesis chapter, chapter 2, verses 25. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. They were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. I want to tell you, whatever is born of you in the presence of God should never ashamed you. Should never be something you are ashamed of. You should never be ashamed of anything that is born of you in the presence of the Lord. The Bible says they were both naked, but no, not ashamed. The fact was that they were, they, they, they were not naked, but they were, they, were, they were covered, but covered in the grace, in the presence of God. Like me, you see me standing here. The truth is I'm naked, but my nakedness has been covered by the clothing that I put on. My nakedness has just been covered by the clothing. So Adam and Eve were naked, but their nakedness was, was covered by the presence of God, was being covered. That's why they were not ashamed. They were naked but not ashamed because there was a covering around them. So like we are always, uh, if, you don't have, if I don't have this clothing, I'm naked. But when I put on this clothing, I've been, my nakedness has been covered. So Adam, while in the presence of God, had a covering. A covering of God's presence was his dressing. So both of them were dressed up because they were in the presence of God. They were being covered up by the presence of God. And the moment, I'm, 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 and they were not ashamed because they were covered. They were covered. There was a covering, a covering around them. 
like me, I'm covered. Like you seated out there watching me, you are also, your nakedness, you're naked, but your nakedness has just been covered by the clothing you have put on. So Adam and Eve, while in the presence of God, there was always a, a covering. There was always a covering, a covering of God's presence around them. That's why they never even realized they were naked. Eh? They never realized they were naked because there was a covering around them. Like you, you don't see, you don't imagine you're naked because there is a covering. Your clothing are covering you. That's why you, you are not ashamed. So Adam and Eve, for sure, much as they were naked, they were not ashamed because there was a covering. And that covering was the presence of God. That covering was shielding them, was covering them from shame. When you are in the presence of God, whatever is born in the presence of God should never cause you shame because that is what defines you that is the glorious things that that's the glorious thing that defines your uniqueness never be ashamed of anything that you bath while in the presence of the Lord may God bless us even as we choose to pursue those things that define us that make us unique which are born in the presence of God. I welcome you tonight as we spend a prayer vigil here. Come and let us seek the Lord. Pursue hard after God and that will define us. God bless you. A you give a deep pursuers moment. Gikutu said work as a pursuers junior school. It is Sangu Mutambala, Kukobori and Pichi Gombe, Katuri and Kizedi Wo, Singo to Arumana Uku pursuers junior school. Interviews Zawe Dedi, a summary immediate Kumsinjo Gutia Katonda, a Tengu Mana Gunju Rabakuku, Tutumbu Tony Bianja Rumana, Turina Mazama Yuk Somero, a Tengu Mana Wasumida Nuivaka, a Banga Mukongo, India Yava is in Nunjibian Soso, Anti Mere to Jerry Mira, Ganefamu Yeta Wediku Somero, Turina Motokis Tambuzavana, pursuers junior school Rebutamba. Tuso mesaba na ukufa mbebi kilas Okutuka kuchibinecho musamfu Mudene bodingi Okumanyebi singa wo Zero musamfu musamfu bidi Ana muemu Chenda munana Ana Ne zero musamfu zero bidi Asatu mukaga Ana muemu Nkaga munya Pasio was junior school butambala In pursuit of knowledge 